हेलो एवरीबडी माई नेम इज अमित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दिस इज वीडियो नंबर फाइव इन द सीरीज वेर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ परसेंटेजेस इन द लास्ट वीडियो यू लर्न अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर्स बड़े कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स आपने देखा होगा कि सिर्फ एक लाइन में सॉल्व हो गए नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड बी talking about very small concepts called election and exam problems uh, these are not very new concepts but then kuch kuch aisi galtiyan hoti hain jo log log kar jate hain aur unko pata bhi nahi chalta so these are those mistakes that we will be talking about in this particular video right so let us get started and try to find the very first problem over here ye bolta hai ki two candidates for an election now be mindful of this How many candidates for the election? Only two candidates for the election. One of them got sixty-two percent of the total votes and won by four thirty-two. So, if try to understand this, if there are total votes and there are only two candidates, and we need to find out the total number of votes that that are polled there. So, first candidate, say candidate number one, and and there is a candidate number two. If candidate number one is getting sixty-two percent, जो पहले वाले कैंडिडेट को sixty-two percent मिलेगा, तो जो बच गया वो दूसरे कैंडिडेट को मिलेगा, so that is nothing but that's nothing but thirty-eight percent. Do you understand this? Now, if the this this person is going to win the election, this person is going to lose the election, right? So what is the difference out here? So if you see this difference out here is coming out as twenty-four percent, यानी twenty-four percent of Votes is going to be the margin, जिससे candidate number one election जीतेगा, and which is given to us in the problem as four thirty two. Do you understand this? मैंने क्या बोला? कुछ तो votes हैं होंगे. C one candidate number one is getting sixty two percent. Candidate number two is getting thirty eight percent. दोनों के बीच का जो difference है, वो this is what this is twenty four percent. इसी twenty four percent से तो election जीता गया, which is in the numbers is given to us as four thirty two. Now you simplify this. If you simplify this problem, so what is that you will be getting? Getting twenty-four upon hundred into votes. That's coming out as four thirty-two. Now, number of votes will be hundred over twenty-four into four thirty-two. If you simplify this thing, you will get the answer, right? But you see, but you see, my problem is, uh, here say can we look at the options and say that we, you, you don't even have to solve it. इसको solve नहीं करना, इसको देख के ही answer लगा देंगे. ये कहाँ पे हो सकता है? 24% is very very close to 25%. Do you understand this? And what is the meaning of 25%? It is one fourth. One fourth of any number is 432. One fourth of any number is 432. So that number is going to be very very close to what? 1700, right? 432 into 4 is going to be going to be what? It's obviously more than 1600. So this is not the answer. This is not the answer. This is the answer. And your job is done. Even if अगर आप यहाँ से लगाओगे आपको यहां पे भी यू विल गेट द आंसर एज 1800 तो कहने का क्या मतलब हुआ कैलकुलेशन हम कहा पे बचा सकते हैं ये सीखना बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है राइट सो हैविंग सेड दैट प्रॉब्लम यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड कि इस वीडियो में मैंने क्या करने की कोशिश करी यहां पे राइट नाउ दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी शुड बी सॉल्विंग दिखने में बड़े लगते हैं ये प्रॉब्लम बट सच में प्रॉब्लम बड़े नहीं होते द वे आई से दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में सारे के सारे प्रॉब्लम पड़े होते हैं अगर आप किसी भी वीडियो को देखना शुरू करते हैं अगर आप चैनल पे नए हैं अगर आप वीडियोस को देखना शुरू करते हैं तो पहले डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में जाके देखो कि वहां पे क्वेश्चंस लिखे हैं क्या एंड ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी क्वेश्चंस उसको देख के आप सिंप्लीफाई करके आप आके फिर मेरा मेथड देखो राइट दैट इज वॉट दैट इज वॉट द लर्निंग इज यूज टू ऑलविड थ्रू योर मेथड ट्राई टू मेक द मिस्टेक्स कम बैक टू कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो एंड लर्न एज टू हाउ आई एम ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व इट राइट नाउ In this problem, it is said that in an election, thirty percent of the votes voters voted for candidate A, where sixty percent of the remaining voters. It is not the sixty percent of the voters. It is sixty percent of the remaining voters. जो बच गए उनका sixty percent ही candidate number two को vote करेंगे, right? Now, the remaining voters did not. The remaining voters did not vote. So what? What I'm going to do? चीजें सिंप्लीफाई करने के लिए वी विल टेक लेट से दैट देर आर हंड्रेड वोटर्स देर आर हंड्रेड वोटर्स आई एम नॉट गोना टेक मोर लेट से हाउ एम गोना सिंप्लीफाई दिस थिंग सो देर आर इफ देर आर हंड्रेड वोटर्स एंड इट इज से दैट कैंडिडेट नंबर वन कैंडिडेट नंबर वन इज गेटिंग वॉट 
30 परसेंट सो आई से दैट 30 परसेंट ऑफ हंड्रेड इज वेरी सिंपल टू फाइंड आउट ये तो 30 ही हुआ नाउ हाउ मच कैंडिडेट बी विल बी गेटिंग कैंडिडेट बी इज गोइंग टू बी गेटिंग 70 परसेंट ऑफ इट इज लाइक 70 परसेंट इज लेफ्ट 30 परसेंट कैंडिडेट ए को दे दिया तो 70 परसेंट ही बच गया अब उस 70 परसेंट का कितना कितना 60 परसेंट सो प्रोबेबली अगर आप देखोगे तो 70 वोट्स बच गए यहां पे इस 70 का 60 परसेंट निकाल डालो 60 परसेंट ऑफ 70 विल कम आउट एस 42 टू एज सिंपल एज दैट इसको निकालना तो प्रॉब्लमैटिक नहीं है ना हाउ मेनी डिड नॉट वोट हाउ मेनी डिड नॉट वोट दैट दैट नंबर इज प्रिटी सिंपल टू फाइंड आउट हाउ हाउ विल यू फाइंड आउट हंड्रेड लोग अगर इलेक्शन में है थर्टी है Given vote to candidate number ए but फोर्टी टू हैव गिवेन टू कैंडिडेट नंबर टू जो बच गया वो क्या हो गया दे डिड नॉट वोट दे डिड नॉट वोट इट्स प्रिटी सिंपल राइट नाउ लेट इज रीड द प्रॉब्लम अगेन इफ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दोज हु वोटेड फॉर कैंडिडेट ए दिस नंबर दिस नंबर एंड दोज हु डिड नॉट वोट एंड दीज आर द पीपल हु डिड नॉट वोट इज दैट ओके now they are saying as per their problem this difference out here is nothing but 2 uh, our understanding says the difference will have to be 2 but but the problem says that this difference will have to be 1200 so can we say that this 2 is equivalent to 1200 this is the unitary method jo bachpan mein humne sikha hua hai ki hamara 2 problem ke kitne ke barabar ho gaya it is 1200 right so r1 r1 is going to be equivalent to what 600 and because we have taken there are total of 100 people hamare 100 is pure ke pure problem ke hisab se kitne log ho jayenge 600 into 100 that's coming out as 6000 you try to see maine problem ko kya kiya i just try to simplify the problem this problem could have been bigger had i try to solve this with the ratio kuch variable liya hota kisi ratio se solve kiya hota then this problem could have been bigger but then What did I do is I took hundred voters and I tried to simplify my problem and we have got the answer as simple as that, right? So this is what you need to learn. Uh, the next problem it says that in a college election between two candidates, so you need to be mindful how many candidates are there in the election process? Two candidates or three candidates? How many valid votes are there? How many votes are being discarded as invalid votes? तो so, ये सारी चीजें आपको बड़े ध्यान से प्रॉब्लम में पढ़नी होगी नाउ इन अ कॉलेज इलेक्शन बिटवीन टू कैंडिडेट्स वन कैंडिडेट गॉट 55 परसेंट ऑफ द वोट्स एंड 55 परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल वैलिड वोट्स नॉट ऑल द वोट्स राधर इट इज वैलिड वोट्स 15 परसेंट ऑफ वोट्स वर रिमेन्ड इन वैलिड इफ द टोटल वोट्स वर दिस सो दे हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू हाउ मेनी वोट्स आर देयर सो दीज मेनी वोट्स आर देयर राइट नाउ हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर देयर वैलिड There, there are two types of votes valid and and invalid the problem tells you the problem tells you that 15% of the votes are not valid so how many of them are going to be valid there will be 85% of the votes will be valid right now now if you understand this thing so problem says that there are two candidates candidate number 1 and over here you have got candidate number 2 candidate number 1 is getting 55% of the valid votes so this candidate is getting 55% of the of the valid votes what is the valid vote 85% of this number so the other candidate obviously is going to get what the other candidate is going to get 45% 45% of the valid votes right do you understand this thing now what is the what is the number of valid votes the other candidate got so this is what they are trying to find out how much of the valid votes the other candidate the the other candidate has got so other candidate if you see as per the problem as per the problem the other candidate has got this much over here this candidate has got 45% 45% of what so can i say that this will be nothing but 45% of 85% of 85% of what number the total votes are nothing but 15200 now it seems to be a big problem but then this is not a big problem right ab ab dekho na isko kaise simplify karenge so probably you need to understand that 85% of this will be the valid votes ab is valid vote ka 45% kon leke jayega jo candidate election haar ke gaya hua hai right now how would you simplify 45% 45 by 100 45 by 100 ko aap kaise likh sakte ho 9 by 20 right 
and this is of how will you write 85 percent 85 percent is 85 by 100 i am not writing that you will have to write this right 85 percent kaise likhenge ha chalo likhi dete hain warna bahut sare log 85 by 100 kaise simplify karenge usko 17 by 20 now you have got what 17 by 20 and and this is going to be 15000 200 let us simplify this thing let us simplify this thing now you have got 2 into 2 so so this 4 is going to be what 4 into 3 and that's coming out as 38 so so what should be the answer the answer will have to be 9 into 17 into 38 don't solve it don't try to solve it agar aapne solve kar diya to aapne apna time ko waste kar diya in an examination scenario so what is that you should be doing what is that you should be doing above dekho na apne options dekh lo so the moment the moment you reach over here you should be looking at your options aur yahan pe last digit nikalne ki koshish karo na because sare ke sare problem mein last digits to different hai so what is going to be the last digit over here 9 right and then and then this is 7 and then and then this is 8 now this is going to be the last digit you have studied the last digit concept with us uh, we have made three fantastic videos for you they are there in the number ser system series please watch them to clear your idea about the last digit right up you have a 9 into 7 into 8 karenge. so 9 into 7 is going to be what 63 and this is going to be 3 the last digit and this is 8 so 8 3 is a 24 so what is going to be the last digit last digit is going to be 4 this is the only answer that you have got problem to khatam ho gaya aapne dekha maine kya simplify karne ki koshish kari i would not be solving till i feel that there is a requirement for me to solve the problem right kai sare log isko yahan pe simplify karenge fir yahan pe simplify karenge fir yahan pe simplify karenge fir yahan pe simplify karenge with every step they will be wasting their time and that is what is the purpose of the problem wo aapka time hi to wahan pe waste karna chahta hai samajh mein aa rahi hai aapko baat now if you understand this thing why am i writing this thing in a very systematic format because i want you to get my handwritten notes right they are there in the telegram channel go in the description box join the telegram channel and all these videos and all these handwritten notes pdf format mein aapke hone wale right now now if you understand this thing, I would like to solve this problem over here. One last problem problem from the, the election series, which is which this problem says that 10% of the voters did not cast their votes in an election between two candidates. So, you know, there are 10% of the people, there are people who did not vote. And then 10% of the votes were polled that were invalid. Yani jin, jitne logo ne election mein participate kiya, usme se 10% to valid hi nahi ra. Now, the successful candidate got 54% of the votes and, and won by this. So, uh, for me, it's very simple to do. What I'm going to do is, I will be taking the entire votes as 100. And let us see how I'm going to do that. Say, say, say there were a total of 100 people in the voters list. So, how many of them voted? How many of them voted? So, 10% did not vote. So, how many voted? 90% must have voted right now out of these 90 people it is said that 10 percent of the votes were not valid so i will say that okay how many of them were valid so in order to find me the valid votes of 90 10 percent is gone which is 9 9 to khatam ho gaya agar yaha se 9 khatam ho gaya to valid vote hove kitne 81 ho gaya is that okay now there are two candidates candidate number one and then you have got candidate number two Candidate number one is getting 54% of the votes. Okay, so it's got 54% of the votes. Leke jane do. So candidate number two will be getting what? Jo bach gaya 100 minus 54 will be the will be 46. Yani jo candidate har gaya, usko humne kitna de diya? This candidate is getting 46%. Right? Now the problem says that the candidate who is winning the election is winning with the margin of this. Hamare hisab se kya margin aa raha hai? Yahan dekho. What is the gap as of now? 8%, right? 8% of what? 81, right? So can I say, can I say that 8% of 81 over here, 8% of 81 is going to be as per the problem. This is what? 1620. And what do they want? They want you to find out as to how many votes, uh, how many voters were there. So they want you to find out this value of 100. Uh, let's simplify this. So that's going to be what? 8 over 100 to 
81 that's that's 1620 if you simplify this is 1 and this is 20 and 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 1 will be 100 upon 8 into 20 right so if you simplify this is this is going to be what 4 and then this is going to be 50 and this is 5 so r1 r1 is equivalent to 50 into 5 that's that's 250 r r1 uh, in water list we have taken 100 so r1 value as per the problem is coming out as 250 so jo hamara 100 hai wo problem ke hisab se kitna ho jayega 250 into 100 and that's that's 2000 that's 2500 don't you think this is simple don't you think see this is simple it's a simple kya hi ho sakta hai agar aap isko systematically likhte jaoge itna kuch likhne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai if you understand this is something that i have i have written for you to understand baaki to aap itna sara likhoge aapka kaam ho gaya and and they say that this is a very complicated problem complicated to tab hota hai na jab aap likhna shuru karte ho dher sara kuch right so this is this is what is the best method to solve this problem and this is the answer over here now now the next problem it says uh, says that it is required to get 36 percent of the marks to pass an examination so abhi tak hamne kya baat kara election wale problems so, now ek do problem karte hain kispe exam wale pe so 36 percent marks chahiye hote hain kisi exam mein pass hone ke liye problem kya bolta hai a student is getting a student is getting a total of 198 marks and still is failed and still is failed so is is candidate ko mile kitna honge 198 mile यही तो है अगर इसको 36 और मिल जाते यही तो लिखा है यहां पे एंड इज डिक्लेयर्ड फेल फेल बाय 36 36 मार्क्स हैड दिस पर्सन गॉट 36 मार्क्स ही वुड हैव पास द एग्जामिनेशन यानी पास होने के लिए उसको एक्स्ट्रा चाहिए कितना था उसको इतना वोट चाहिए थे इतने नॉट वोट्स इतने मार्क्स चाहिए थे तो दीस मार्क्स आर गोइंग टू बी नथिंग बट 234 डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ दैट्स 234 now this 234 is equivalent to uh, passing mark and which is given to you as 36 percent of 36 percent of the of the total marks now we have to simplify this what is going to be the total marks now now if you try to understand this thing so how, how will you simplify 36 upon 100 into say total is equal to 234 so what is going to be the value of total which is 100 upon 360 into 234 so can i say that this is going to be what 25 and then this is 9 and then this is going to be what 9 to the 18 18 and then this is this is 6 kind of thing right so 25 into 25 is 625 and that's coming out as 650 <clears throat> i said that you do not even have to do this you don't even have to do this please please see this the moment you say you find out that 234 is going to be 36 percent of a value what is 36 percent is very very close to one third do you understand this so if one third of a value is 234 the total value will be what 234 into into 3 and if you find out 234 into 3 that's very close to 67680 so which option is close to 67680 that's that's this option that is it because aapne kya kiya 36 percent ko 33 percent le liya tha and hence without picking up your pen without doing all of it you can still find out the answer but then what is that you will have to do you have got to be that you have got to have that approximation technique jahan pe aap ye bolo ki bhai one third agar kisi number ka 234 ho gaya to pura ka pura number kitna hoga 234 into 3 ho jayega in 234 into 3 wo to bahut mushkil nahi hai karna 700 ke aas pass mein aa jayega yani jo aapka answer hona chahiye wo uske aas pass mein ye ho nahi sakta ye ho nahi sakta cannot be determined can never ever be the answer so what is your answer the answer is c kaam khatam ho gaya theek hai कई सारे लोग कैलकुलेशन करने लगते हैं कैलकुलेशन करने में ही ये प्रॉब्लम है राइट right? आपको क्या करना है आपको सीखना है कि कैलकुलेशन कैसे बचाना है सो दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज व्हाट वी हैड इन दिस वीडियो वेयर वी टॉक्ड अबाउट सम प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम इलेक्शंस एंड सम प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम एग्जाम्स राइट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ डू वी यूज रेशियोस टू सिंपलीफाई आवर परसेंटेज प्रॉब्लम्स एंड व्हाट रेशियोस यू शुड नो and how should you remember them so that is what is going to be agenda of video number six in the series of percentage i am going to see you there till then bye bye and take care and go in the description box find the uh, telegram channel network uh, link and join there because all my handwritten notes are there right thank you very much bye bye and take care